10 microphone. Hopefully you still remember this idea, which was... Household communities and those working with them, like governments, colleges, NGOs, agencies, and volunteers, want to learn new ideas for fixing current and future problems, instead of boring that's engaging for their eyes and ears, to enjoy thinking about what they hear and see. Don't you think this could be the good practices in many goes? So many problems that are faced by families, these good practices in many goes. What's the way to help solve them might be to encourage dialogue, get participatory communication, help support decisions and actions that are taken, whether finding those existing now and thinking how to make them. We want people to see good practices in videos on the new Good Practices TV. is ever expanding its barrage of saying what is best. There needs to be a bridge from this for gaps in local knowledge and confusion of people wanting to know what's good in their context. If they want to test ideas from diversity, don't you think that this could be for good practices in the egos? Show at risk that people may or may not foresee good practices in the egos. Show them what some ways to help reduce their might be. So just for a quick clarification, oh yeah, let's use that one. Much better. <coughs> I do apologize that was in English, but the idea is that there are so many sources of information that are written and are not accessing the people who are living at the local level and making decisions. So we're trying to make it so that there's more information accessible in a medium that people can look at and get the information through engaging medium of video to be able to make better decisions. So that's the focus. And there has to be some theory behind it, and I don't want to bore you. I was warned, don't give too much theory. But if you want to talk to me about, about theory afterwards, I'm happy to do so. But part of the idea, the general idea is, that in the history of risk communication, there was a lot of this. There's been a lot of telling people what to do. And that still continues, and that can be useful for helping to create risk awareness. But there also is the development of the dialogue approach, of getting participatory communication, and making sure that it enables, oops, I keep doing that, that it enables a dialogue to happen, that people are able to have a conversation about what's going on. So in trying to do this, there's more theory, but the idea here is just So if we start out over here, that there are reasons why people are not motivated to take action. That they think that for some reason, 
This is not important enough to my family to do something differently. So we need to somehow work with them. Maybe some people do believe, and maybe there is critical awareness, and that there's a perception of this being important. This may be one reason for doing risk communication. Or it may be that they already are motivated to do something, but they lack intention. They think this is something important, but I don't know what to do about it. Or I don't know if I can do it. So we have to overcome the efficacy problems in overcoming intention constraints. Or maybe they're motivated to do it, and they intend to do it, but just for some reason they're not taking action. Maybe they'll think I'll do it tomorrow, or for some other reason. So then we just need to figure out how to overcome that obstacle. So what we were thinking, some of us, was wouldn't it be great if we could get everybody and take them on field visits all over the world? Of course, we can't do that. But if we get them all, everybody working at the local level, and take them across, and they could learn about approaches that are happening in different places, what's being implemented successfully in some, what lessons have been learned in different contexts, and then they could discuss that based on their own context of what might be replicable and appropriate. So this is, oops, and this is not working. I, I've never used this system. Yeah, the, the video. No. That's going to mess up the whole presentation because it's all videos. I used it from the other 